autopilot driving, autonomous driving, and self-driving have been advancing rapidly over the last few years, but they are mostly designed for cars and mainly electric cars. What about two-wheel vehicles? It looks like they have been forgotten in this race. Until now. What I have here is the controller box that can convert an ordinary two-wheel electric vehicle into an autopilot vehicle that can balance itself and drive itself without the need of a person to control the bike. In this video, I will do a review of this controller, show you how it works, and finally I will tear it down and open it up to show you what's inside. Let's get started. So here it is. It looks like an ordinary and small black box. But in an instant, it will convert your electric bike into an autonomous vehicle. Let me show you how it works. It comes without any connectors, so you need to make your own connectors to connect it to your bike depending on your bike's make and model. I use XT60 connectors for my bike, so I make a couple of XT60 connectors for it. Connecting it to your bike is very simple. First, disconnect the power connector from your battery to the controller and then insert the autopilot controller in the middle between the battery and the bike controller. And that's it! Your bike has now become an autopilot electric bike, which can balance itself, increase its maximum speed, and drive itself. Programming the autopilot controller is quite easy. It's controlled by voice-activated commands. Just like saying, Hey Google! for a Google smart device, or Alexa! for an Amazon smart device. This device's name is April. All you have to do is to say, April, and then followed by your voice commands. You can control everything from self-balancing the bike, to increasing the bike's terminal velocity, to autonomous driving. Now let's put it to the test. I'm gonna go ahead and try the self-balance feature. April, activate self-balance. Confirm self-balance activated. Right, now let's give it a try here. It works! It works! It's magic! Try to move the bike. There we go! This actually balances itself! Isn't that amazing? Isn't that amazing? That is cool! Now let's try to do some programming here. Let's try the maximum speed. April, set maximum speed 100 miles per hour. Confirm maximum speed 100 miles per hour activated. Right, let's put it to the test here. Got my odometer ready to measure the speed and it's in miles per hour. Here we go. Nine miles per hour. Woo! Oh, that was crazy. Let's try the cruise control feature. This basically lets the bike maintain the same speed and basically let it drive itself while I just sit back, relax, and enjoy myself. April, activate cruise control. Confirm cruise control activated. So next, I'm going to open it up and tear it down, and I will show you what's inside. Here we go. Wow, that's beautiful. Get the cable out of the way. So we got a spinning wheel. So this will spin really, really fast, and it's like a gyroscope where it will create the stability for the bike when it spins really, really fast. So this gyroscopic effect is the same effect when you ride your bike, right? So when you're not moving, the wheels are not spinning and your bike might fall over. And when you start moving, the wheels on the bike start spinning 
and that creates an effect to balance the bike so you don't fall over. So this spinning wheel here replaces the spinning wheel on your bike. So even when your bike is not moving, this spinning wheel is strong enough to keep your bike balanced. It works! It works! And underneath we got the user manual and the uh, controller board. Let's check out the user manual here. Wow! That's the most concise and to the point user manual I've ever seen. That's it for now. Thank you for watching April. I will see you next year. Alright, let's try and see if it works. It works!